Hello friends, welcome to ZAP Yard and JAP Academy. Today we'll talk on a very important topic, is certification needed for our SSP consulting career? So I'm asking this because there are mixed opinions on whether we want a certified consultant in our project or just a consultant who has good hands-on experience. So there are lots of pros and cons of being certified and not being certified. And at the end, we would like to hear your comments, uh, what you think, uh, whether certification really helps or it is just a eye wash to fool an interviewer or fool a manager who hires you. And also is certification just a side hustle for SAP who are making money out of this certification program? Please share your thoughts. The reason we, I am posting this video today is because on LinkedIn, I saw a very interesting debate going on on this topic from our friend, Jonathan. Let me share my screen and show you that post. So this is the post. This is by our friend Jonathan. He says, certification don't drive SAP success, you do. And this is a very, very appropriate statement. No matter how many certificates you may have in your kitty, it is you who will drive the project. The certificates might help you, but at the, at the end of the day, no certification exam can teach you what your personalized business client does. Every problem is different in SAP world, in that matter, in any consulting world. And you may not have ready-made answers for them. You have to think, you have to rethink, you have to debate, you have to argue, you have to defend. And then probably at the end, you come with an architecture, which is nowhere there mentioned in the books or the training courses or even in the certification exams. Then he says that a piece of paper doesn't always translate to real world success. Do certification have a place? That's a valid question. We would like to hear from you what your thoughts are. Please, please do mention that in the comment section. And then uh, our friend Jonathan uh, supports. He said that, yes, the signal dedication and baseline of knowledge, certification does help that. But when the rubber meets the road, it's practical experience that truly shines. No one can disagree with that. Seasoned SAP consultants bring depth of hands-on expertise, intuitive problem-solving skills, understanding of complex project dynamics. These are skills honed in the trenches, not in the classroom. That's a valid statement. Industry voices echo this state sentiment. Certifications often signal test-taking abilities rather than practical expertise. And then he says, don't get me wrong. Certificates have, certifications have immense value. Not only do they help launch careers, they also show a deep commitment to stay current. And we cannot disagree that. Yes, in order to give a certification, you have to burn midnight oils. Certification exams are not easy. The questions are very tricky. You have to go through them uh, with an open mindset because the things which you are taught in the class and the papers, uh, the questions which comes in the papers are like um, two end poles. They're 180 degrees and you have to use uh, your thinking brain to answer correctly. So that's a challenge. And until and unless you are prepared well, you may not even qualify for the certification. Then he says, but overemphasizing them in hiring comes with a risk. And that is very true. There are many automatic tools which scan the um, resume of prospective candidates who are certified, but they may not be qualified. So there's a difference. I may have a certification, but I may not have the practical knowledge. There might be an uncertified guy with the appropriate knowledge and expertise, but the automatic tool will not even pick the good candidate's resume. And there are also many interviewers who will just outrightly reject the resumes where there is no certification mentioned. And then they tend to pick the guys who have some certificates. So don't get me wrong. The guys with the certificates are also good and they might be good. But then there are candidates who may not be certified but are outrightly rejected just because they don't have that piece of paper. That's not even correct. So we need to have a balance. So let's see what our friend says further. So but overemphasizing them in hiring comes with a risk overlooking true practical abilities, misjudging readiness for real world challenges, undervaluing the wisdom of experience. So what's a freshly certified consultant to do? So what's a freshly certified consultant to do? You must seek out opportunities to apply your knowledge. You have to dive into projects. The name of the game is learning by doing. 100%. You, you learn by doing. You do not learn much with just the theoretical knowledge. An employer... <clears throat> Even when candidates have the certification you are looking for, look beyond the papers. Evaluate the whole person. Evaluate their track record. Evaluate their problem-solving approach. Evaluate their depth of understanding. And these are like very valid points. 
99 times out of 100, the most successful SAP projects will strike a balance between fresh talent and seasoned professionals. Let's shift the conversation and appreciate the unique value both certified and experienced consultants bring to the table. That's how you and your team will truly innovate in the SAP space. So that's that. That's this is one post which I thought was very interesting, and I follow Jonathan, and he writes this only SAP post you need to read for a day, and I think it, it sums up the day. So. Uh, there are many trolls on him as well who say that, okay, I have read this post, then I'll shut up my LinkedIn for the day. Uh, but but I do like to read his post and they are very, uh, very good summary for the day. So, I, and then let's go to the, and there are very good discussion going on in the comment sections. If you see here, someone has written, uh, he gave a context of a movie, uh, Gadar is a very popular movie in India. He says that, Ek kagaz ke tukre par, Mohar nahi lagegi to kya tara SAP consultant nahi banega, which simply translates that if I ha do not have that one piece of paper which says I'm certified, does that mean that I cannot be a SAP consultant? It's very appropriately uh, mentioned by Vishal Jain. Then there is another um, person, Alok Kumar, who, who is a very known figure in SAP training world. He says that certification only adds value to justify the fact that you have cleared a test given by SAP. Well, any employer can do the same before hiring you as well. It does give you an added advantage over others applying for the same job without certification. That's what I said earlier. Yeah. So when there are two resumes, one with certification and another without certification, and they hold more or less the same experience, probably the interviewer and the employer will go with the one with certified. And that is a disadvantage for the not being certified. And he also says that uh, another point to note is most resumes go through an ATS system when applying for a job listed on the job portal. So certification will add value in ATS picking your resume. And that's, that's, that's the sad part. Yeah, that's true. And last point, most SAP hiring managers are still old school and believe in certification. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's true. And then another friend, Harvinder says, no doubt certification has an advantage, but not over knowledge and experience. If someone is in the initial level of their SAP career and struggling to find an opportunity, then definitely certification helps. And I agree with Harvinder. And then Faisal says, professional growth, education is greater than experience and experience is greater than expertise. Okay, I, oh, that's, that's, uh, I think our friend Faisal says, education is greater than experience and experience greater than expertise. So um, I don't know, he, I think he supports certification. Education with this, I think he means that certification is greater than experience and experience is greater than expertise. Maybe I'll ask Faisal, what does it mean? But uh, for now, this looks like uh, he means certification is needed. Tabriz says, open-ended questions, however, does throw a cat among the pigeons. Personally, certification are more or less a metric to evaluate, but surely not a benchmarking tool. And then our friend Colin says, experience is greater than certification. So he puts an end. You need to have the um, required experience and expertise over certification. And then Gagan says, certification are just the entry threshold and not the entirety of one's professional capability. They lay the foundation upon which SAP consultants would ideally build a more comprehensive, deeper understanding. So he says that, okay, certification is needed to get into something. And which is true. So if you want to learn something, we have to get a training. And if you are getting trained, probably you'll go for the certification as well. And that helps. Um, and then a lot of them agree. And then Frederick says, I would like to raise a warning. Just because someone knows how to do things does not necessarily mean it is the right thing to do. Yeah, and it happens with all of us. Many other times we, we do something just to get the thing done in the project. Something is burning and the production system is done. You say that, okay, write this line of code and it will fix it. We just write it. And we do not think that whether it was the right thing to do. But at that point, that was the right thing to do because the system is down and the client is crying. So we, we want to get it fixed. But um, when we get some time, we should ponder whether that was the right thing to do or not. Let's see. He says, especially in the scenario of ECC and S4. There are many configurations you did in ECC that you no longer perform in S4. In ABAP, it is even more crucial you are up to date with things like X, Eclipse, etc., or not call the table directly. So even experience alone is not enough to perform a good vetting evaluation. I would also state that for some roles, even a field test is necessary to see how the person actually attacks a problem. Okay, uh, I, I didn't get whether he supports certification or not, but I do surely see that he wants the person to be hands-on and that's no second thoughts on that. And then Clive says, I have often found those who have certification, not even just SAP related ones, to be somewhat less able to interpret and apply theoretical aspects of their knowledge in the real world. I have never actually met anyone who was openly certified who impressed me. 
It's probably why I felt the need to become certified is anything myself. I place likability, relevant experience and knowledge and flexibility above all this which makes hiring decision. I will add after reading through some of the comments now that certification is not the only path to gaining knowledge and the whole debate is not a zero sum game. I have interviewed certified candidates as well as much as I have uncertified candidates and I found a discernible difference in the technical knowledge. There are many ways to gain knowledge. That's true. And then Venkat says, SAP certification is a money minting machine for SAP. Nothing more than less. Nothing more than that. Okay. That's a very bold statement. And yeah, it is a side hustle for SAP for sure. So, but those, I think these are pennies in terms of what SAP is earning in the whole SAP world. So SAP certificate might be a tiny um, percentage, uh, but it may not be the money minting one, but it do contributes to its revenue for sure. And then another friend says, certificates get you to the door during the screening process as an experienced professional. In fact, it is always advisable to get at least three years of experience before attempting the certification. Certifications also boost the confidence of the experienced professional because it is more about system knowledge, but we know that they are rated based on the business processes and industry knowledge and often other soft skills they bring to the table. Indeed, a certified experienced professional is an invaluable asset to an organization, as you said. Uh, I think I want to go back to one of the comments i'm looking for one of the comments which uh, i found was very interesting okay this was the one muzirat who said certification has no real value these days there are people who have got access to real questions database and they sell the questions at low cost so anyone who has 30 dollars can prepare themselves for exactly the questions that can be asked there are many ways for people to get certified in an unethical way there's an entire industry around it and we cannot deny that. Yes, that's the sad part. So there are ways to beat the system and get certified and with zero preparation. So that's the sad part. So, and then certification will not help us identify who got certified after the training and after the rigorous process and who got just the database and passed the exam. So that's the dark side of those certifications. So I think we will we'll end this uh, session today. So this was a very interesting post, which I thought I would share with uh, all of you, um, do do let us know what you feel, whether given an opportunity, whether you will take a certified guy or a guy with experience. And if, if you were to take a guy with just experience without certificate, then what are the criteria you would look in that person? And, and say, there is a certified guy and an uncertified guy with the exact same experience. How will you tackle who is better? Will you give the guy with who is not certified and a chance to appear in an interview and then decide or you will just weed out the uncertified guy and pick the guy who is certified and take his interview. Do mention them in the comment section. Till next time, Raju Shrest, signing off.